sorry, sorry, sorry. De you had a fair innings now. Deputy Adams, without interruption. Sorry. Deputy Adams, without interruption, please. Thank you. Graham Morgan. Graham Morgan. Sorry, Deputy. Would you please? Thank you. Uh, I know. Uh, and, uh, don't be encouraging, please. Deputy Adams, please ask your question. Would you? Thank you. Would you, would you stay quiet over there? Thank you. Deputy Adams, thank you. Between There's a list of deputies who won't get in, by the way, if you don't stay quiet and let the deputies ask their questions. Well, Gordon Margaret Concordia, Cash Jogum, sir. Ursa, we redress for women resident in certain institutions, Bill August, uh, and Bill Ella, Climate Action and No Carbon Development uh, Bill. I, I, I raised elements of this under Taoiseach's questions, but I have to say I wasn't satisfied with the answer that you gave me, uh, Taoiseach, and I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting on the fact that you apologised unreservedly to the survivors of the Magdalen Landries in 2013. You said it was a national disgrace, and you put in place, you said, uh, a process to help and support the women. And the bill was published to facilitate this before Christmas. And it has been a focus of extensive criticism from survivors, particularly the Justice for the Magdalene's Research Group, which describes it as a massive clawback from what was promised in the redress scheme as proposed by Justice Quirk. And the advocacy groups have said that the bill is unacceptable, unfair, and full of broken promises. Now, what I'm asking you to do, Taoiseach, is will you withdraw the bill and facilitate the speedy drafting of new legislation to implement the very commitments that you made and which the government made two years ago? But if you're determined to proceed, when will it be ordered for second stage? And on the Climate Action and Low Carbon Development Bill, uh, according to Scientific Report, 2014 was the warmest year on record. And the economic and human cost of climate change is evident in the damage caused by extreme weather conditions, and particularly an increased insurance cost on and lives lost. And we've seen this ourselves in our communities, and we've debated this out uh, here. So the government's climate action and low carbon development bill, it's three years behind schedule. It's been widely criticised for its lack of ambition. It fails to set out any long-term targets for reducing Irish greenhouse gas emissions. It talks grandly about making a transition to a low-carbon economy by 2015, but contains no specific definition of what a low-carbon economy is. And it does not, not that I can see anyway, guarantee the independence that's uh, needed for the Expert Advisory Council. So when will that bill be brought before the doll? Well, I, I, I can't believe actually that you're asking me to withdraw a bill which we've waited for 60 years to bring in here. Uh, let, me, let me say to you, Deputy sorry, Adams, sorry, sorry, I, please, I disagree please. with you. I disagree with you in that the Magdalene, the Magdalene bill published before Christmas will be taken here in the next couple of weeks. It has been very well accepted and very well supported by the women, the vast majority of women who went through the Magdalene laundries. And I'd make the point to you that as I answered in a question to Deputy O'Sullivan earlier on, the government are absolutely fully committed to implementing all of the recommendations made by Justice Quirk. And I think if we never did anything else, you see the, the relief and the acceptance by those women of the, of the state's response following Justice Quirk's report uh, is self-evident of the measure of support that they've given it. Um, the climate change bill will be discussed here, I think, in the second week in February. It's taken a long time to get this to this point. In many ways, uh, it's been probably worth it in that the, the nature of the debate has changed from Lima to, towards the conference in Paris later on this year. And the European Council, as you're aware, gave Ireland a specific understanding of the very difficult position that the country was placed in because of the method of uh, setting of targets for this country out to 2020 and beyond 2030. We're now in a much better position to negotiate uh, far more realistic and achievable targets for our country for the years ahead. Deputy Riley. 